Can I interest you in a share of Terrence Inc. stock? It's only $100. You give me $100, I'll give you a share of stock. What a bargain. Welcome to Accounting How To. I'm your host, Carolyn Grimm. My sidekick, Terrence, and I are here to put the fun in accounting fundamentals. Now, if Terrence Inc. was a real company and I really had stock to sell you and you gave me $100, that $100 is paid in capital. So you, the stockholder of Terrence Inc., has paid in to become a stockholder in our fine corporation. Now, the accountants of Terrence Inc. will record the receipt of that cash from you, and your name will be entered on the celebrated role of investors of Terrence Inc. So paid in capital is contributed capital rather than earned capital. It's being contributed by the owner or the investor rather than the company earning a profit. You may also hear the term additional paid in capital. And to explain the term additional paid in capital, we must first understand the term par or par value. So when it comes to stocks, par is a value that's assigned to a stock by the corporation when the stock is issued. It's usually a very small amount and it represents the absolute least price a stock can sell for. It may be a penny or a dime or a dollar, but the stock is going to sell, hopefully, for more than par. And that's where additional paid in capital comes into play. APIC, as we like to call it, represents the amount of cash paid in excess of par. If par is a dollar and we sell that stock for $50, the additional paid in capital is $49. And like paid in capital, Additional paid in capital is part of contributed capital rather than earned capital. Now, if the reason you're watching this video is because you're taking an accounting class, like all the cool kids do, stock transactions can be complicated. They can really trip you up, but do not worry because Terrence and I have been very busy doing your homework for you. So if you jump over to our website, you will find step-by-step instructions on how to do the most common accounting homework transactions related to stocks. You're welcome. You will find all of these golden details over on our website, which I will link in the description, but it's really easy to find it. It's accountinghowto.com. Until next time, stay balanced, my friends.